The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. And now, a BOA.TV original series. Welcome to the family. Previously on Welcome to the Family. My parents are moving out of town for the first time in 45 years. There was nothing here, just an empty lot. Everything that you need to, to relax, you have it right here. One of the things that Miami has that a lot of people aren't really that aware of is history. I kind of felt like I was sneaking in and I shouldn't be there. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. Alex had a toothache. Finally today, was able to get that toothache dealt with. Right now, I am on my way to the dentist to have dental surgery. Yay, another one for the list. I'm scared because I hate the dentist, and especially when they're gonna do a tooth extraction. That tooth is so far gone. You're not gonna be able to see it. So I'm just gonna take it out. Just because she was tired of having that negativity there and she just wanted it gone. I come out of here and I feel like I've been in a marathon. Because when I hear that drill, I tense up so bad and I don't want to like I, I don't want to move and I don't know. It's just stressful. I have a lot of tooth issues, so I've had quite a few teeth extracted and it's not that big of a deal in my opinion, but Alex was telling me that she'd rather give birth again than have the tooth taken out. She was that scared. I felt for her. When you're in that chair, it kind of feels like you're going into the electric chair. I wish that was it. I wish that was the worst thing. The amount of anxiety that I go through is just too much. God, please don't let this hurt. Please let it be quick. Too many previous experiences that have left me traumatized, I think, permanently for a lifetime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, I feel that. Ooh, I can feel the root coming. <laughs> One of the things that I really admire about Alex is how much she really lives everything that we, we teach and we believe in, in every situation. I mean, if you want to live a better quality of life, which I do, I need to be pain free. And that's why I'm eliminating all these to live a better quality of life. That's what you got to do. You got to face the fear whether you want to or not, and then live with the pain for short term in order to live pain free long term. So even in the situation where she was so scared and didn't want to go through it, she applied our tools and techniques. Was it? Oh my god. It was horrible. Oh my goodness. Last year I was at the dentist fixing an issue and they didn't see that issue. So I guess it was a new issue and I don't know. It's just bad dental DNA. The first award of many for motivational missionaries. You need to be like excited. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, notice something. We're all Latin and we put the white people in the back of the bus. <laughs> On the ride there, I decided to have some fun. Stay on that side. Shut up! <laughs> a lot of people have to act a certain way because they think that everyone thinks of them a certain way. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, let me tell you, a lot of you are crazy, a lot of you have fun, but you just try to act differently in front of certain people. Carry on, carry on. Point one miles of the destination is on your right. No. Okay. <laughs> well, you get to see a little bit behind the scenes. We're at the North Shore Park and Youth Center where they're having an event celebrating Hispanic Heritage in Miami Beach. We have so much delicious food here, guys. You guys can have rice and beans or burgers and fries. Most of the people are either from South or Central America or some type of Latin community, and they're all here today to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. This event was particularly pretty cool because it was surrounded by children performing. Kids from different parks here on Miami Beach have been working for about a month on different dance routines and different you know, musical numbers uh, just to show how proud they are to be Hispanic. And being that my family is Colombian, I was definitely proud. Alex is getting an award for all of her work that she's been doing with you for Motivational Missionaries. It feels really good when any one of us in the team gets recognized for the type of work that we're doing. Today we're going to be honoring uh, some members of our community that have done wonderful things for this community and continue to do so. So as a business person, one of the best things that can happen to you is to receive an award. I'm so happy all of you came. This is going to be really terrific. We have some great awards for some wonderful people 
that we would like to present that have been so special and have given back so much to our community. One of the cool things about this is that it was related to our nonprofit sector of our business, which is Motivational Missionaries, which we're extremely proud of because what we're doing there is work with children which we believe, as adults and as the world, they are our future. Our next person is an incredible person who helps our youth in our community. Motivational missionary to our mentor children and provides advice to those who are in need of guidance. And this lady is someone who helps our children, helps our youth, and has done wonderful things in our community. I would like to bring up Alexandra Oliva. Hey, Alexandra Oliva. It's such an honor when somebody recognizes your efforts and you get uh, awarded for it. If that's not enough, we want to give you a 100-year coin in un moneda celebrate uno de 100 años de la historia de Miami Beach. Los dos estaban para la cremación, pero es que no podíamos no podíamos honrar nada más una persona. Yo solamente escogimos la parte linda de, <laughs> de, de la pareja. Thank you, thank you for everything you and your husband do for our community. Muchas gracias. Thank you. The future of this world looks kind of bleak if nobody starts doing something about it. And that's why our organization is dedicated to helping children. I was really happy to see Alexa win the award. Being recognized is just a way for you to understand that you're doing what you set out to do. And you must be doing it right in order for other people to notice and recognize. 100 years! You know what time it is. So what do we learn from this episode? One of the things is that our body will give you clues. Have you ever realized, if you've ever had something extracted like a tooth, or if you ever had a tumor removed, have you noticed how much better you feel after the fact? Because that's a lot of negative energy that's being held in your body. So if you have a toothache, or you have anything going on in your life that you need to extract, even someone that you may know, it's time for you guys to do it. <laughs> and the second part to this episode is about MMT, which is Motivational Missionary Tour. Not only am I proud of Alexa and her accomplishment and being able to win that award, but also when Valerie and Alex came to me and they wanted to open up the nonprofit organization, I was not 100% supportive. However, at the end, not only did I support them, but I'm really happy that we did it and we're seeing so many positive things coming out of it. I, for the most part, love helping children around the world. However, I never thought about really having a nonprofit organization, so I really want to thank Alexa and Valerie for pushing me. Because sometimes, yes, even I have to get pushed. So now make sure that you push yourself out of your zone and do something to help children around the world. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And remember, you must Keep making it happen. I'll see you next week. Hi, welcome to the family. My name's LJ, and don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>